Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I want to talk a little bit about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order because I've been playing a ton of the game since launch and I've really been enjoying my time with it. But let's make no bones about it, this video is neither an impressions video nor a review. All of that analytical mumbo jumbo is being reserved for my gaming trend review, which is going to go up within the coming week. Sidebar though, if you want to know when that happens, you can head over to my Twitter, at Capes. it's linked in the description, because that's the best way to stay in the loop. You know what? Fuck it. While you're down there clicking around, drop me a sub if you're so inclined. It'll go a long way to helping me grow this new channel, and you'll be able to sleep at night soundly knowing that I'll be worshipping your stupid YouTube name in a ritualistic altar ceremony in the hopes that based Susan Wojcicki will bless my channel with promotion. But we're not here to discuss my quasi-religious pursuit of clout. Instead, I want to talk about the secret sauce that makes Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 so fun, and that's the fact that the game feels like an event comic come to life. This feeling the game evokes is accomplished through a couple different means, so I'm going to hit them sequentially, starting with the game's presentation. Wow, 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 several wows in quick succession. Okay, sure, if we're looking at the game's presentation purely from a technical perspective, it does leave something to be desired, but that's nearly a non-issue in the context of how great the art direction and writing here are. To the former, the game feels lifted directly from the pages of the comics, and I think that's a good thing. In the face of Square Enix's Avengers and its dumpy, look-alike, not-really MCU aesthetic, it's refreshing to see a game lean squarely into the comics' representations of these heroes and locations. Beyond that, the characters not only look the part, but they speak it. From the goofy character bios to the dialogue lines, the writers here obviously have a deep appreciation for the lineage and lore of the Marvel Universe, and that's great to see. Yeah, sure, the writing can get a little cheesy at times, and a lot cheesy at others, but overall, it's so quippy and fun that I really do enjoy just listening to the characters ping-pong off each other, you know, in classic event comic fashion. Speaking of which, the storyline definitely has the high-octane stylings of an event, you know, the sort that has every solo book spending months leading up to it and months dealing with the ramifications of it. You know, the sort of deal that has you angrily consulting reading orders and individually buying back issues from Comixology as you stumble your way through Avengers Disassembled so you can continue on to House of M before yelling obscenities at the barely related Spider-Man Disassembled tie-in, throwing in the towel and reading the core event by itself. Yeah, that kind. Uh, yeah, and maybe that was a little bit of a digression, sue me. But the point being, this comic colliding storyline has you trekking from famous location to famous location, meeting hero after hero and just nerding out over the chance to traipse about the Xavier Institute as Miss Marvel. The greatest triumph of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 in its pursuit of comic glory though is the way, cliche alert, it makes you feel like whatever hero you're playing as. Sidebar, yeah, I know, it's turned into a huge joke to say that the game makes you feel like Spider-Man. But the reason reviewers trumpet this line out all the time is because that's the highest compliment you can give a game like these. Ideally, a superhero game should be a power fantasy, and that's exactly what Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is. Whether you're thwip thwipping a super-powered prisoner in the raft, or repulsor blasting Ultron back to the Stone Age, you feel as empowered being a hero as your hero appears in the comics. It's a masterful commitment to game feel, one which pays huge dividends in the quest to assuage the game's underlying gameplay repetition, but that's just a little teaser for my review in the coming days. The overarching point here is this. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is a lot like reading an event comic, and not only for the reasons discussed above, but because both are just fucking fun. But both can be incredibly cumbersome too. I don't find Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 to be the most remarkable video game in practice. It has a lot of inherent design issues that hold it back from objective greatness, but what it absolutely, undeniably has in spades is enormous fun factor. And in my not so humble opinion, I think that's more than enough. This game is a Marvel fan's dream and it's absolutely worth playing. Not every game has to be a 9 out of 10 to be enjoyable or to accomplish its goal. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is comic book chaos to a T, and because of that, it's easily some of the most fun I've had with a game all year. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below how you're feeling about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. I'm super curious to hear how others are feeling about the game. And not trying to bribe anyone here, but I'm definitely going to give you a creator heart if you do comment, so it's going to be worth your while. That said, I'm going to get out of here and play some more Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 so I can be ready to put up my GT review in the next few days. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye.